was just talking away. Didn't know that I was disconnected. Yeah, I was just, I'm just getting back in now. I was just talking away, guys. I don't even know where we left off. Uh, you left off uh, talking about. Um, I thought you said you were going to sleep. No, I said somebody else was sleeping. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so the deposit now. Is Wanda back? Uh, no, I don't see her anymore. I think the person who was asleep is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was snoring loud. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so when you have the air included in there, you're gonna have to pay the air portion. So your deposit is gonna be a lot higher, as opposed to this. And see, this is why, guys, is is it's so much less stress, and it's easier for you and your clients, especially if they're not really as in sync get the hotel and transportation contract and then get the air separate go to skybird go to spirit get a contracted air package for them or do it individually i did it individually 36 of them 37 of them i didn't do all of them but it was not a problem at all because air takes five minutes or less to book so you know and when you know you're getting all the better rates you want to go ahead and try your best to get them try to shop around and see if you can get them the better rates but their deposits will be higher when the hotel, when the air is included in a package. And then after that, they'll pay lower, a lower deposit. It won't be as high because they paid off their airport. So Marcia, I have a customer who wants to go to Valencia, Spain, but she, when I priced it out, like what you just said, that she couldn't afford, I, I did the hotel. I went to Vax and uh, Funjet, got the hotel for her. And then I went to Skybird with the with the price for the flight, but she said she couldn't afford to pay for the flight up front. So I don't know how to help her. Did you try GoGo and, and um and Apple to see if you get a small a better package? Well, Apple said I would have to go to their sister sister company or something because they didn't do the they didn't do Spain of the. Uh, wherever I said Val Valencia, I think I said. I hope I'm saying it right. Spain, and she said I, the lady who I talked to at Apple said I would have to go to their her, their sister company. Yeah, and I, and I didn't. GoGo does Spain. Okay, I'll try GoGo yeah, tomorrow. They do, they do Spain, and they actually do a tour for you as well. If they want like a ground tour, or if they want to go from you know country to country over there. Um, okay. Because I had a group that wanted to go from one place to the other, and I can't okay. remember some of the names right now, but I was able to get a quote from GoGo, -Go, and they broke okay. it down. They, get, they put everything in there, and they stayed on the phone with me and did everything, and then sent me an email with everything in it. And it took me like 20 minutes on the phone with them, but okay. I had an email to send to my clients. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so did you get a quote from GoGo, -Go, or you just... I did. I did. I spoke with them on the phone. I gave them all the information for my clients. I told them exactly okay. what my clients wanted. Okay. Um, they gave me some options to choose from. I selected those. And then once we finalized it, I gave them my email address and they emailed it to me. I was able to go through the itinerary, the, um, the quote and look at it. Um, okay. When I save it, I save, I make sure that I don't save the page with the commissions on it for the one it's saved. Right. I save two, one with the right. commissions so that I can send that on to my clients, the one that doesn't have the commissions in it, I'll just shoot it off to my clients. But right. um, they definitely have um, great, um, they have, they, they do Spain because I went to, I went to GoGo and got, uh, you know, was able to book with Spain before. I wanted to go back here. Um, hey, uh, uh, Marcita. Yeah. Marcita. Oh, must be the Android. You're breaking up. Oh, uh, Android. What are you talking about? And can you hear me? I can hear you. Can now. you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, uh, when I went to uh, Jamaica, I had an all inclusive. But do anybody include uh, food? All inclusive includes food. European plan uh -huh. is doesn't include food. Your plan plan is pretty much your hotel and that's it. But all inclusive, your foods, your no. drinks, and some of the amenities on the property are included. Some of them are not. Um, 
but most of them are with all inclusive. So, um, what was your question, Larry? That was my. Oh. Okay, it's the, the young lady that we're looking for, uh, Morocco. I, I don't know if she's back on the line. No. No, she's not. You guys have any other questions? I am still on Marcia. Ooh, somebody's got a mute. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> it just lets you know, Marcia, how much attention people are paying you when they're on this call. Right. And and Mr. Fleming, I hear I hear that man all the time and he is it's all facts. It's all facts. Okay, so this is how you can go into um yes, ma'am. I have a question. Okay, question away. While we was uh, on this line. While we was on this line, I just registered for um what was that? Reward? Unlimited reward. That was the vacation has lower down payments for air travel. Um, okay, yeah. someone had a question. I did, Angel from Chicago. I don't know if you can see me. I can't hear you very well. It's no. Yeah. I'm gonna mute all of everyone and unmute you. Okay, what's your question? Yeah, I have a client who's looking to go to Dubai. Oh, you're far away. I still can't hear you. Put your put your phone to the mouth. Put your mouth to the phone. Phone to the mouth. <laughs> Can you hear me better? Someone I can hear you, but you're still a little farther away. But go ahead. You said something about Dubai. Yeah, I have clients who want to go to Dubai. Can't hear you at all. This better? Put your put your put your mouth to the to the phone part where you speak so that I can hear you. Oh, you have headphones on. Is this better? Yeah, I have them off. Okay, I have uh, clients who want to go to Dubai in September. I just want to know if you know a supplier um, that you can recommend and they want all inclusive as well. Yeah, in that training that I just did earlier, let me see if I can find it here. One second, guys. Uh oh. I don't know what that was. Okay. Let me see something right here. Okay, Travel Agent University. They have um, the, the they have the specialty program where you can just and I'm telling you this because when you go in there, guys, you'll be surprised to see. Even if you don't take the course, you go in there and browse. You'll see properties. You'll see different, and they'll give you ideas. Once you see a name of a property, what I do is I go to Google and I'll Google if I'm not familiar with um you know a pro what's what hotel is with what supplier i would go to google and i would just google hotels in dubai or be more specific of course with google once you find the name and do not do not click on anything that has a little ad to add on the side because that those are, those are you want to make sure that you go to the commerce the, the commerce if you, if you don't know it off the top of your head, you want to make sure that you go to something of that country, like their tourism board. There are so many properties on there. Find a property, find the area. That information form is what narrows it down. If we use that form, 
you, you, we all have ideas of where to go look because you'll know for sure what your client really wants. Once you use that information form and find out where, what the purpose of the trip is, what they're trying to experience, what do they want to get out of the trip, then you'll have an idea because then you go to that particular local destination, pull the destination up, find out about the destination and then get the name of the hotel and then let's go to our suppliers. Vax is a very, 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 very big supplier and they have so many different suppliers under them. So when you go in there, you will find 90% of the time you will find a property. Um, most of the properties in Vax is all over the world anyway. So you'll find a property in Dubai in Vax. I know that for sure. However, I don't know if you'll find the better properties there. So going to Google and finding information on that area, the destination, going to the tourism board, going to Travel and Leisure magazine. Actually, Travel and Leisure magazine is actually where you should go. Um, definitely. Uh, Trip Advisory, they can give you information on there. These are resources, guys, that we put information in and we pull. If you're not very familiar with a property or a destination, those are resources that we can use and access that will give us information. Once you find the name of a hotel, all you have to do is go to our suppliers and find and, and find or call them. That do you guys do? And they'll tell you. But, but if you go to the website, you can eliminate the call and the waiting and the holding. You can just go ahead and search for that property. Go into the go into the hotel list and search for that property and find it and see how much it, you know. And then you can also compare it to what you found on the internet as well. But these are the resources and the things that we can do to get to get access to um, Where's the internet though? Thank you. Let's see here. I actually have, have a group next year going to Dubai. And it's the Marriott properties. They're going to Dubai or Abu, Abu Dhabi? Dubai. Dubai, okay. Well, as you can see here, lots of hotels in Dubai. You can start with the Majestic, the Radisson Blue Park Hotel. And here's the thing. Once you start with these hotels and put them in, and you know how the advertising thing goes on your internet. Once you put that in there, Trip Advisory. 10 best hotels in Dubai. You, you notice we always see Trip Advisory in, in Vax and FunJet in a property. It always says the ratings for Trip Advisory. Let me get rid of this. All this stuff in my way on this screen, this Zoom. So pretty much you have to put your dates in, but I just want you to see there are some names of what you do is you write these names down. That's what you do. You write the properties of JW Marriott there. See, they have all these different properties there. So you can definitely find, go to a chain, go to Marriott. And then once you go, when you go to, a, let's, let's say you start with Marriott in Dubai. And you pull it up, there's a map. When you click on that map, you'll see all these different hotels. They'll have different hotels, they'll have restaurants, and you can venture from there. But that's where we start. If we're, if we're not sure, if I'm not sure, I'm going to go to Google, guys, and I'm going to put some information out there. I'm going to go to my resources, Travel Leaders Network, um, you know, all these different uh, resources that we have as agents. Travel and Leisure Magazine. I go, I'll go in there and... and do some reading and do some research just to find the better rates for my clients. My sister stayed at this property right here. It was beautiful. She had a great time. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Any other questions? Uh, yes, Marcia. This is Sandy. I was the one who asked about um, how to check for Marrakesh, Morocco. Morocco. Oh, I was, I was, I was trying to help you, but you weren't on the line a few minutes ago. I okay. was, but there was a lot of um, audio feedback, so that. Oh, okay. Oh, why did I, why did I just delete Google? 
Right. So with, with, well, I don't, I'm not sure of which suppliers we would use in here, but this is where you definitely want to go take some time to read up. Did you try Club Med? They're mostly Caribbean anyway. No. Um, I would go to Travel Leaders Network. I would really go out there and go to that site, Agent Universe. I would go over there and find out about those places, Dubai and Morocco and all. I would definitely do that. But let's go do some searching here for you since we're on it. No wiki, nothing. Morocco.com, see that? Okay, got it. So now we're at Morocco.com and let me go ahead and save this to my destinations. Yes, I have, I have it. I have it all categorized, guys. <laughs> You have to, when you want to move fast and you want to know, have access, you have to put it in order. Okay, so let's go up here to the search site. What was the city? What was the city that you were looking for? Marrakesh. Marrakesh? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, let me get rid of this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm over here doing a bunch of stuff here guys okay pardon me Okay, how do you spell that city? It's M-A-R-R-A-K-E-S-C. -E I can't hear you. It's Marrakesh. M A. Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Yeah, it's the only one that's gonna start with an M. I don't know how to spell it. That's why I'm asking you. M is in Mary. The letter E. R. Randy, R is in Randy, the letter E, P is in King. I can't e. even hear you. I can't even hear you. You're going in and out. Don't worry about it. We're going to find it. Okay, good. There we go. I mean, R, R. Marrakesh, right? That's the one? That's it, yes. All right, we're getting somewhere, guys. Okay, so you're looking for a property in Marrakesh? Yeah, mostly hotel um, accommodations. Okay, so what you can do is, once you find a property in Marrakesh or any city that you're looking for, if you can't find it in our, supply, in our preferred suppliers mm -hmm. list, what I would recommend you do is contact the hotel directly. Excuse me, guys. Something is itching my nose. I think that 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 um, Nat got on my nose. Um, I would I would contact the hotel directly and communicate with them. If you can't find a supplier here, now that's international, so I would recommend you definitely definitely not um, you know just pick up the phone and call them. But you you want to definitely um, find out if we have a supplier. If we don't have a supplier that, that caters to them, you want to go ahead and um, contact them directly and have um find out if you know share your agency ident identify yourself as a travel agent your provide your agency identifiers and then find out about the rates and the packages and the different things for your clients and then after all that is done ask if it's commissionable and as long as it's commissionable you'll be able to get paid commissions for it so you don't necessarily have to find if they're just looking for mostly just hotel because like i said you can get your ear from anywhere but the most important thing is where are they staying 
You want to make sure that your clients are staying in the place where they'll enjoy it and the things that they want to do is in, there, is in the vicinity. That's important. Right. So, right. Um, but I would say start here. Go to um, morocco.com slash Marrakesh. All and, right, got it. And, and yeah, and then we can definitely find, don't use this right here because that's right there. So this is going to make you mad because you, you can't book with them. Okay. But you right, can, yeah, but definitely go to this site and find out a lot of information for your clients as well. This, this website right here will tell you a lot about, um, about Marrakesh and Morocco for your clients. So I would highly recommend you definitely save it in your, um, your list. Okay, Marcia. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Questions, questions, guys. Quick question. Yes. Um, the the slide presentation is is that going to be available to us? That's mine. <laughs> really? No, I will. I will. What, what I'm what I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm trying to share this. Every, every, I'm going to be doing a weekly. We're going to do a weekly Zoom because we're learning that it's more effective than the call because it's more visual. So we're going to break it down where at the beginning of the, the beginning of the month, we're going to do the beginner say, stage and then we're going to start building so that we're not stuck and we're staying in one section. So we're going to keep growing. The next time we get in here, we're going to, I'm going to go more in details. What I wanted to show you guys were, um, here it is. Oh, I can't do it like that. I have to share it on second. Can you guys see that? No. I wanted to share this with you guys. Where is the PDF? On my desktop. This is that contract. Can you guys see that? Yeah? Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yes. Can see. Okay. This con. This is this is why I said do not give your clients the contract, guys, because it has your commission information in it. See that? These are the hotels: arrival date, departure date, room numbers, number of passengers, retail commission, non-commissionable rates, because. Children, especially when children are free at a hotel, you're not getting paid on them. You're not going to get commissions on them because they're free. And if they're a certain age, then you'll, you know, then you'd be compensated for that. So there are commissionable fees and there are non-commissionable fees in a contract. And so you don't want to, this is one of the reasons why you do not want to give your clients this. Here's what I want to show you guys. A con this is a group contract. This is what, it, I wish Wanda was on the line because she'd be able to see what her group, group contract would look like. It break down everything. You have the deposit the due date of the deposit. These are important, if, this is important information for you guys to know and share. This right here, final payment date, is very important that you let your clients know from the beginning. Before you even sign the contract, they must know the, the, um, the final payment date, which is always like 65 days prior to travel, okay? Very important things to pinpoint in a contract when you're reviewing it before you sign it. You wanna, and before you discuss um, anything with your clients. These are gonna be the group amenities, they got complimentary passengers for every, every 10 passengers paid on the 11th was free. Now, here's how that works. It's going to be equivalent. Let's say it was $7.49 for the six nights in Jamaica for each passenger. The 11th room is free. That's $7.49. The, 12th, the, 20, the, the 22nd room, 23rd room is free because every 10 rooms, right? So the 22nd room our 21st full room will be free. Another two. So you're, you keep accumulating that money. That's back end money. I know you guys don't understand it, but when you get into the contract, you will. When the contract due date, that May 2nd that you saw there, once that date comes and all payments were received and everything is in and the contract is about to close out, there's going to be an overage of those free rooms. Now that's the back end money. That's what you can either use to give back to your clients, which I did. I what I did is I paid off my 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 coordinator, the main person. I made sure she had all her money. She got all her money back, so her stay was completely free, and the other half I kept for myself because I was working with them for a while. 
Uh, but those are options again that we have. You want to go, go ahead with the amenities. You want to make sure that everything that's on this list right here is group amenities. They get this at this due date right here, May 2nd. You want to make sure that everything that right here in this group amenities area is covered, okay? This right here is major. This is where that contract between you and the supplier, this is where it affects you, okay? You have to pay attention to the attrition and penalties. It's a must. It's a must. The pause, there are, after certain dates, we signed this contract in October. After April 2nd, anything, you know, prior to April 2nd, no penalties. But from April 3rd to May 2nd, there were fees. There were penalties actually being, um, um, they'll be penalized if they change it. For me, I told them no deposits. You're not getting your deposit back. If you come to me after April, you will not get your deposit back. Now, I changed this contract for my clients because I had a feeling they were iffy about things and I'm glad that I did that. I, you learn. So once we're in these things and we experience them is when we learn to do it better the next time. I told them $50 deposit initially, and I hope you guys are not inviting your guests on these calls. This is strictly for agents. Um, you know, you can tell them $50 deposit, but guys, here's the thing. A lot of times, if you wanna keep your group and keep your group strong, and if they're not budget conscious like that, it's okay to take it up a notch, and you know, you can $100 deposit. If they're willing to pay, let them pay. But minimum is 50, minimum is 50. But if you say $100 is deposit, good for you, because now it's easier for me to cancel a $50 deposit than a $100 deposit. I am not gonna let a $100 deposit go that easy. I might let a $50 or $25 deposit go, you understand? So people will cancel on you with a $50 deposit, but if you let them know the deposit is $100 or more, and after a certain date, they cannot cancel, they won't be able to get, they can cancel, but they won't be able to get the deposit back. Guess what? You won't have any cancellations. I had no cancellations, none. They all kept their rooms. They paid at the last minute, but they kept their rooms. And that's because I, peanut, I pressured, I emphasized on these dates right here, guys. And lo and behold, May 17th was extended to May 19th because they couldn't even make the payment. May, actually, May 2nd was the date. And FunJet was willing to go to May 17th. Fungent extended it to May 19th because they still couldn't get their money together. Okay, this, these are the issues that we have with groups. So before you get into a group, you want to know certain things so that you can know how to manage your group better. Okay, very important. Signature, this is your obligation. So when these fees come, let's say May 17th came and let's go back to the 25 rooms. We had 25 rooms initially. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I selected 25 rooms. I told Funja, this is a contract with me, the travel agent. I told them my client wanted 25 rooms because that's what my client told me. But when you actually break it down, they didn't need 25 rooms. They needed less than that. If I had created this contract, well, this contract is 25 rooms, but I got it changed before I signed it. And it's a good thing I did that because once I signed this contract guys with 25 rooms and they didn't take, because the hotel gives me the inventory. Now I have the inventory. They'll give me 25 rooms and I can do whatever I wish with that group with those rooms. But by May 17th, May 19th, all of those rooms better have a deposit and they better be paid because if they're not, they're going to come out of my commissions. It can't happen. Back to that form, information form. Finding out how many people per room, any special needs, any children. Because when it comes to a certain number of rooms, it's a fire hazard. You can't have five in a room in a hotel. You can have you know, two children or three children or one child per adult paying adult. So there are rules to the, to the hotel industry and that form helps you to not over budget on inventories for clients. And just because your client said you have, they have a group of 40 people going, it doesn't mean because they have 40 people going, they're gonna need 20 rooms. They might need less than that because they may have three people in a room that as opposed to two rooms. So just because it's 40 people doesn't mean it's 20 rooms. It could be less. 
So you want to make sure you take the time to break it down, guys, because this is where this is where it, it affects your money, and I don't want that to happen to you guys. It didn't happen to me. Everyone paid, but I was glad that I was went ahead and changed this contract. Unfortunately for me, the contract was not this amount. It started off here, but it didn't end up there. But it's all good. They went. They had a great time, and I fulfilled every single detail on this contract. Every detail I fulfilled. Every single thing that they had here, I got three-way calls set up with the coordinator and the hotel. I made sure that every single thing my client wanted, the hotel was able to provide. And it was it's not it's not very easy, like a package is easy, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. And you'll definitely want to do more groups once you start with a group. Okay. Any questions? Wait, let me unmute you. Questions. Questions? Okay. Okay, Marcia, since there's no questions, do me a favor real quick. Okay. Um, Anything for you, Miss Willie Mae. <laughs> you know it. Uh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Um go to let's go to GoGo -Go, and this lady wants to leave December twenty second. She wants to go to Valencia, Spain. And Let's see. Let me. I'm. I'm trying to find her. Her text message to me. She wants to keep it within five thousand dollars. It's for two people, and she wants to leave on the twenty second and return back to the United States. Oh, momento, por favor. Oh, momento. Oh, momento. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Let's get started. Where is she from coming from? St. Louis. St. Louis. STL. And going to where? Valencia, Spain. What is the airport code for that? Oh, let's see. You know what? When I... Oh, gosh. I got it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. On December 22nd. August, you said when? No, December. December 20, 22nd. 22nd. Oh, pardon me. And return date? Um, January 3rd. Okay, how many people? Any adults and children? Any two, two, children? two adults. Two adults, one room. Okay. She wants all inclusive. She wants all inclusive, huh? Yeah. At least flight and hotel. Well, she wants a package. Right, right, exactly. I don't know. They're, they're not a, a whole lot of, you know, yeah. all inclusives in Spain like that, like that. Right. Like oh. There is in the Caribbean. Yeah. You know, so. Okay, so here comes the flight. Is this big enough or you guys need it bigger? Yeah, we can, I can see it. I'm blind, you know, so I need to see. <laughs> I'm not blind. Um, okay, so what is her preferences as far as flying? Did she, I mean, she really had no choice, really. No, she didn't say. She, she was just trying to keep it within uh, a $5,000 range. Okay, but the major thing is that, oh, she's trying to, oh, okay. Okay, so she doesn't care about lights. I mean. No, she didn't. Yeah, she said she, she didn't, she didn't specify um, anything about flights. She was more concerned with the price, staying within 5000 See, with, with a package like that, Miss Willie Mae, I would call GoGo. -Go. I wouldn't even come on okay. here. Yeah, I would okay. go because they probably will have better, um, better ear components for me. Okay. But as you can see here, you have options. The only options that you have are two stops or three stops, which right. of course you're going. It's Spain, so you can't expect just one stop. You know what I mean? Exactly. Africa, Spain, Dubai, all those places. You're gonna stop at least two times from Atlanta or from St. Louis, wherever you're gonna go to New York, and then you're gonna go somewhere before you get to Dubai. Or, or Morocco okay. or Spain. So um, 
I would go with the, the two stops. Uh -huh. I would go with the two stops for her. So like, well, you know, one of the um, two stops in here. This particular one, there's $84 commissions in there. Hey. Mm. Well, I don't see anything that's going to get keep within the price she's asking for. And that's why you should call them. Yeah. Wow. What hotel did you select? I went through Funjet and Funjet. I can't remember what they gave me, but they gave me three different hotels that was like seven miles from the airport. And when I gave her that, she it sounded as if she's familiar with that location in Spain. Mm -hmm. And she said it was kind of out from where she wanted to be. So then I asked her, I said, well, what do you want to see when you are at your hotel? Do you right. want to see, you know, so now she says she's going to get back with me. So well, these I just right thought, here anyway, you have to call anyway. Yeah. Okay. The only hotel that they had available anyway, and you have to call. And that's why I said, just give them a call. Um, give Gogo a call and, and find out what properties they have available in Spain in that area. Now, narrow it down a little bit, Miss Willie Mae. What city did she want to be in? She said, uh, is Valencia? Um, she said Valencia. So that's all she said, Valencia, Spain. That's all she gave me. <laughs> oh, we got three minutes remaining. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is it Valencia or Valencia? I'm Caribbean, so, you know, I say things. Yeah. Like Let me see how she spelled it. Uh, v like Victor. A-L-E-N-C-I-A. -E yeah, you have it spelled correctly. Okay, so Valencia T Tourism, that's where I would go. Okay. So okay. much information, and, and this is, I've been doing this for years, but whenever you go to the Board of Tourism Boards for a country, an island, or wherever, you'll be surprised to see the information that you'll find. You'll be able to pull up, whether it's a cruise, a hotel, a rent a car, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So let's go to accommodations. Hmm. And usually there's a map around where you can kind of have an idea. But see, mm -hmm. this is all they're dealing with. Like they have their own little engine, Booking.com. So we don't really care right. about that. We're just looking for right. information, pretty much. Right. Make this a little bigger. It's so tiny. Okay, so they have hostels too. Yeah, that's Spain. They have a lot of hostels there. Okay. I realize that I'm going to change that now to where here's a hotel. Maybe you should write this one down and see what suppliers you know service about. Okay. I'm pretty so sure we'll have some suppliers. You can just get the information, but you can't. LG ten. And I think if I use your phone, please. Thank you. Um. Hotel Mas Camarena. Yeah, I just wrote that one down. Okay. There's a bed and breakfast. Hotel Cruz de Gracia. You, you just missed it. Our last room so that today. Hopefully that's their last rooms. You still write the hotel down because yeah. suppliers that have a blocked, you know, right. Blocked rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, um, 7.7 good, 8.2 good. Hotel Taxia, mm -hmm. Taktika. Right, I have that one. Oh, there's a Valencia Congress. Pretty good ratings. Only two rooms left. Mm -hmm. Let's see something oh. here. Let's kind of narrow this down. See, there's a map. There's always a map with the hotel. I like clicking on the map because then I have a better idea of where other hotels are and what is in the vicinity for my clients. You 
go from one thing to the next. 